The power rankings just came out. A I have the data. Uh, JJM is number 10 currently in New number Jersey. Number 10. Number 10 uh, in New Jersey, sitting here fighting for ninth against Slug right now. Slug, of course, number one in the uh, Philadelphia area. Fourth seed of the tourney and lost to No Fluxes, who took out a lot of these guys we're still seeing here. Yeah, No Fluxes got a pretty nice run of Peaches and Ganon, or, uh, Peaches and Ice Climbers as a Ganondorf player and was having a lot of fun. But here, we're going to be seeing a Slug lead. Yeah, JJM losing that Nana super early, which in this matchup especially is a super lead. And neither of these guys really uh, really taking the any time off. They're getting right into this game. All right, more neutral. Lots of, you know, yeah. you see like some blizzards, some ice blocks, just a lot of try and find odd hitboxes. I was kind of expecting a little bit more ice pop, but now <laughs> both po po yeah, other. both popos separating to, to beat up on Nanas. Looking like a WWE tag team match That's here. That's what I was about to say, yeah. Tornado tag style. It was great. But uh, Slug looks to be the one that ends up with the Nana the second bout in a row. Which yeah, is but he's still, getting, he's still getting duffed here because Slug still has his Nana and his fourth stock. Yep. So here's something I can tell you that's deep in the uh, New Jersey lore. JJM has a peach. I'm actually surprised this is a nice climber's ditto right now. Right, yeah. I had heard that as well, and I believe I even saw a little bit of it yesterday on one of these setups. But, yeah, he does have a peach, and you got to think, I, I mean, I don't I can't empathize with an Ice Climbers player, but I got to think that he wouldn't want to play against Ice Climbers. I know I certainly don't. Well, now that Wobbling's off the table, I feel like things have changed. Uh, yeah, a lot of characters, you know, I mean, a lot of characters just keep them separated oh, so well, and him. the way that the Ice Climbers can approach, they have a lot of moves that force that desync. Slug sitting pretty. Still has his Nana. Four stocks to one. Okay, not anymore. Nana actually outlasted Slug there. Uh, but a fresh stock coming down, and uh, JJM has way too much work to do. What, a, what a mess. Finish. Anytime they're all on the ledge together, I'm just like, what a mess. You know? Yeah, it's, it's so hard to keep up. But I'm going to do my best for you guys at home. <laughs> nah, it, and also, like, the... The Nana colors are actually quite similar, so sometimes when like there's a lot flying around, it's like, okay, hold on, who's and like they're like on opposite sides too. You're like, okay, with these are, these don't match. Yeah, yeah, uh, seriously. Uh, thank God for tags. If this was an online set and there were no tags, it'd be even harder. Yeah, and so with that, Slug actually does end up losing a second stock. Yeah, here. he he lost that second stock so fast compared to the first stock. He was able to hold on to both Nana and his fourth stock for so long, but JJM finally finding uh, his his footing here. And with a charged down smash or forward smash, that should be the end of game one. Um, it was a two stock, but it didn't feel like JJM had control at any point in the match. Um, and that was tough. It's interesting, the philosophy of that last stock, right? Because yesterday we saw Bobby Big Balls go out to the Ice Climbers because he chose to go and attack Nana instead of attacking Popo. But when an Ice Climbers player separates Nana from the other Ice Climbers players, he chose to go after Sopo. What? So, I mean, you know, he's looking to shut down the player rather than the computer. You can deal with the computer later. I, I really just don't know why John hasn't taken out his beach yet. Yeah, I mean, you got to think maybe he just hasn't been. I mean, he's been doing so well this weekend with Ice Climbers. Yeah, the whole weekend. I think he's been playing Ice the entire time. And he's so. been playing very well. It's not like he's had any reason to switch before now. Yeah. He's here to death by Slug, though. The the gap between these players is, uh, is, is widening here as the set goes on. And... If there's anything, I, I really feel like Slug is one of the best Icy Dittos play, you know, in the world. Um, Slug just, I've never seen Slug lose one of these. Then again, I'm also not a stats guy, so I'm probably wrong. Either way, Slug's looking great right now, and I can tell you that much. And so far, we've got <laughs> both Nanas go down basically at the same time. And we've got a Sopo bout. Oh, Slug catches the approach with a forward air, pops uh, JJM right back up. Okay. Yeah, this is an this is interesting, man. When it comes down to the two Sopos, you, you it really shows a different kind of understanding of the game because the the, the whole uh, neutral everything kind of changes a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be an up air, or it could have been a back air as well. I suppose it doesn't truly matter. I don't think either of them do a KO at this point, but the forward air is going to do it. When you're playing the Ice Climbers on this level and you're a main of them, you have to kind of be ready for a lot of different matchups in this ditto because you have Sopo versus two Ice Climbers, two Ice Climbers oh, versus two Ice oh, Climbers, and two Ice Climbers versus Sopo. So you got a lot of you got a lot of things to keep track of, spinning plates, if you will. 
Yeah, and JJM loses the third Nana while Slug is still sitting on first Sopo. Yeah, that first Sopo <laughs> showing some uh, showing some ro uh, rocky level fighters mentality. The eye of the tiger here, just refusing to go away. JJM having some trouble finding strong berries, looking for it over and over and over again. Yeah. Oh. I think he's just realized that he cannot touch Slug with down smash, so he's just Man. looking for anything else. Here's a KO. There we go. He needed Nana to get the assist and the guaranteed follow up. Yeah, which is great and all, but now we see a double down smash. Nana has to be saved. Wow. Wow. JJM having a tough game there, a tough go of it. Oh, Let's see if he can put, reel it back in and pull it together here. Take a long sip of that water, my man. Yeah, I just... You're a tall drink of water yourself. It takes a lot to hydrate. You need more than that. I'm thinking... He's going to... Is he really? He's going to go all three games, ICs. Uh, it's okay. If you're I a believe. friend or family member of JJM <laughs> in the chat, you might be pressing F. Oh, John. <laughs> Rizzing, okay, I hit the commentary Rizzing bias. Rizzing's having a panic up. attack right now. <laughs> you know what? I believe. No. Nah, you know what? I believe. I, visibly sweating next to me in I'm, the booth. I'm, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I, I believe in JJM more than he believes in himself, okay? And Slug <laughs> opening up strong. The first Nana is gone. Yeah, that's and an ill omen, FD, isn't it? So this kind of sucks. You know, the, the 10 second <laughs> Nana kill is an ill omen for the rest of the game for JJM getting absolutely bulldozed off the stage by Slug here. It's okay, though. We are down one full stock. Uh, Slug looking to possibly take this 3-0. I mean, that's actually very impressive considering JJM has had a great run this tournament so far. This is for ninth after all. This is quite the amount of matches to get here. hundred so percent. Yeah, JJM's had an incredible run. I don't think anybody had uh, predicted him being a person who would be top 10 at this event. He's top 10 in New Jersey, let alone top 10 in this event. Big deal. So, he is smacking right now, though. He needs to keep this Nana. Oh, man, that's it. Nana's probably going to be super dead here. you got to think Slug knows all the tricks. He's... And there's the back throw. Going deep to save Nana, showing a little bit of desperation. Will he sacrifice one for the other? He doesn't even get the kill. Tries. Yeah, he doesn't does try, see. but you just need a little bit more. You need to follow up. And he just wasn't going to get Nana e either way there, I don't think. Nice down tilt. You know, that's a little underrated when you have somebody coming in trying to grab you or jab you. For those of you at home playing the Ben Ready drinking game and taking a shot every time I say underrated, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's a little early for a Sunday day drinking, <laughs> but um, you know what? It's football season, baby. Everybody's day drinking. <laughs> Good point. Uh, yeah, so we're just looking for two Sopos on FTE trying to get a KO on each other at 110%. It's fun. Okay. There you go. Oh. It's like watching two children boxing underwater. <laughs> uh, what, somebody won, though. Yeah, it was Slug, uh, who has come out on top in most of these exchanges, showing Here's it. A, yeah. a dearth, if you will. Shout out to Jorge. A dearth of knowledge uh, in this ditto here. And we have another double hammer F smash. Nana's just done. Nana out, but nope, she's back. Nana's sitting at like 50, though, at least. Maybe yeah. 60. High, high percent for her. She's getting knocked away so far every time Slug touches. But JJM just throwing out the down smashes, making it a fight on the ledge there. That's, you know, making it dirty. He's got what he's got to do. Okay. We have a split. Oh, no. That was smart. <laughs> Desynced. We're, we're throwing fighting. Throwing attack. I like that from JJM. That was great. Yeah, I like it too. Okay. He has shown a lot of um, a lot of moves out of the desync he, and the handoffs. I mean, JJM's really surprised me with his knowledge yeah. on this character. You know, because if you're still playing this character and dedicated to this character after the wobbling ban, you're gonna have to learn some stuff. You know, like some serious Tricks. stuff if you want to get guaranteed damage like before. So the so the thing is here that I'm noticing is JJM is actually pretty much adapting very well. I mean, yeah, finally, yeah, he's really coming online here. I'm hoping it's not too late uh, for him to get on the board. Yeah, uh, it definitely depends on this next. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a here. big boy yeah. here, but good DI there, preventing the follow up, I believe. Mm -hmm. All right. Now he's got a wall of swinging bears to deal with. JJM still hangs on. Doesn't okay. quite have the juice to get back to the stage, though. Slug locking down everything between Nana and Sopo. Mm. 
this is what you expect, right? From Ice Climbers Ditto for the most part. Just the yeah, ice blocks everywhere. I'm glad that this hasn't been a set like that. But I'm afraid that it is at the cost of JJM's tournament run, unfortunately. So yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this edge guard situation right now, and oh, can we get an F in the chat for JJM's Peach? It's okay, JJM, you can still dunk on him. We still beat him in a one-on-one -on -one in basketball. Yeah, uh, well, they're both pretty tall. Actually. Yeah, they're t they're titans. They're titans of the that, Smash. That would actually be a game five. I think. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, shout outs to JJM. You know, had a good run. That is a that is a ninth place exit. Um, <sighs> A bit of a slam by Slug. I mean, we had two back-to-back -back game fives into a, into a nice clean three. -up. Pretty aggro icy Zitto too. That yeah. was, I mean, that was one of the most entertaining icy Zittos I've ever called, and I've called. I feel like five billion of them. It's probably been five, but you know, most of them were uh, about as fun as a root canal. This one was a lot more fun than that. <laughs> and shout out to Dark Gen X. Actually, uh, taking Slug to game five very, very close, but Slug ended up clutching it out. Dark Gen X is someone um, that is very much renowned for beating up ice climbers players with Fox. Yeah, and. Uh, would have had the dream run if it was to defeat Slug and then hang out with JJM for a little while and then maybe, you know, see where you go from there. Take out all the Ice Climbers from Nintendo, or not from Nintendo, from Discord Boogie all the way to Slug, all the way to JJM in one shot. Um, however, that didn't happen. Um, Slug advances to top eight. Yeah, Slug really established himself because the only other big ICs that I believe he has a big win over was Nino, and JJM's got victory over Sharks, uh, who's, a, yeah. who's a brilliant ICs that used to play from NC. So, I mean... Uh, this is a this is a set a set that really puts Slug on the map in this matchup as if people weren't already uh, watching him after his results this weekend. I'm looking at two players right now sitting at a setup and one of them's going home. Oh yeah, that's and how I you know where. Yeah, it. this is going to be an awesome set. I'm uh, I'm glad this is our our last set because this, this is, is the one I was looking forward to the most and wanted to commentate the most. The Swooper versus Logan. Samus versus Marth. Um, both of these players and losers, I would say Swooper, he was seeded to be here, I believe. Um, the Polish set was pretty solid for Polish, but Logan has been fighting tooth and nail since the very beginning of top 64, top 32 round there after a game five loss to Pryke. Yeah. And so now Number Logan's one seed warm. overall, right? Yeah. Yeah. Number one yeah. seed overall, overall fighting for ninth place right now. Of course, he um, had that big coming out party uh, based around Summit when he transitioned from the artist formerly known as LSD into his current tag, Logan. 